Good evening, everyone. This is Carolyn with Scrapbooking with a Twist, and we're going to do some more base pages tonight. I have, um, I think, four out here. I doubt seriously we'll get four done, but a couple of them may be pretty easy. The first one I have is all of this orange goodness here. And I really want to do a, a two-page one for this because I've got both of these yellow, I mean yellow, <laughs> these orange stripes, and I kind of want to use them up. I think this may be the end of these orange stripes. I'm not positive, but I think it is. And I know I don't have my camera set up where I can do two, um, let me see, maybe I can get there, I doubt it, where I can lay two side by side. I don't think I have it where I can do that. Let me check. Well, it would be very close. Let me do this. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. That shows too much of the side mess. I don't like that. Okay, we'll just do one at a time, and then I think I am going to put them like this, where they're um, or do I want to put them like this? Like that. I kind of like the stripes going down. I think I'm going to put them like that. So, um, anyway, we're going to, we'll just do one at a time. I'm going to, because I'm going to do them similarly, so, uh, because they'll probably be opposite each other, and I'll do some kind of two-page layout. <clears throat> I've got these two pieces that are bigger, so I was thinking I'd do something just across the page with them, but I've got these scraps of orange going on here, and then some little scraps of these that if I need for layering somewhere, I can do. I've got some just like stuff that if I decide I can work in or I can use for, um, oh, and I've got these. I've got these little things that I thought I might put along the edges. And I like this, but it's really a little bit different orange from some of this other stuff, so I don't know about that. So anyway, let's just, um, let's do one and then we'll figure out what we're going to do to the other one to kind of make it match. So I, I definitely want to use this little, this piece. So let's go from, let's start there. And I thought I, I, I visited my Pringles can and I pulled out these, actually all of these. And this matches that other polka dot that I want to use on the other page. So I thought I might use this little strip over here just to pull that polka dot across the page, across the two pages. So if we do that, let's see if we do that and then that. Or if we tuck this under, let's try that. Maybe put this on top of that. And then put it along there. Mm, yeah, I kind of like that. It That really doesn't show too terribly much, but it's okay, I think. It's okay. I can do that. We want to cover part of that. Or do we want to do that? Hmm. I actually think I almost like this. It kind of calms the page down. Is this going to be another one of those busy, crazy ones? I almost like this better because I think it kind of calms the page down a little bit. So let's, let's, let's do that. I think I want to use this little polka dot and maybe just put it right along the edge of that. And then I'm going to run this under it. 
So let's try that and then put it down there. Let's try that. I don't know if I can do this without getting it all over because it's pretty narrow. Maybe I better use liquid because I don't want tape runner on my all over everything. Just get that along there and put it just right along the top of this other orange. Man, this is hard to see with all this going on. You know me and my busy layouts. This will definitely be one of them. Okay. Let's see if we cut that on there. Yep, I think that's straight. Okay. And then, if we put that there. You know, we might put, because I've got all these solid pieces, what if we put this darker orange under that? No, that doesn't do it any real good, does it? That didn't work. I wonder if white would work. Let's see if I have any white. It's just, I don't know if I have any 12 inch strips of white or not. Let me look. Let me look in my white scraps. Hmm. Have a lot of shorter pieces of white scraps. Surely I've got, or well, there's just a part of a page of white, but well, that isn't going to go all the way across because it's going to, um, I'm going to put that orange under it. So let's look at this and see if this helps this or just doesn't really matter. So if we do something like that, if we do that and then put that on it. What does it do? Eh, that doesn't really necessarily do anything either. Hmm. I really wanted to use these. What if we put it down? Let me get this getting too messy. Getting too messy for me. What if we did this and put it down this side. Like, and just down to where it meets that other one. Is that any better? Probably not. It may be going across the stripes a little better. I don't know. Let's look at this again. I think I'm just going to go with my original and do it right here. I mean, it, I'm just trying to use this and that gets it done and I'm loving using scraps and I've never used so much stuff out of my Pringles can in my life. Now if I can just find pictures that I can use with all this, I'm going to really be happy about these base pages for a fact. I just want this where it barely doesn't show the that it's rickrack.
Oh, shoot. I put it with the pink side up. I'm telling you, I am amazing sometimes. This is pink on one side and orange on the other. I'll leave that in so you can just laugh, because I bet you've done things like that, too. We are just creatures of our own. Ah, that just amazes me that I can do things like that. Okay, let's try this again and make sure we get the orange side up this time. So, there we go. And I had it really glued on there good in the right place. Okay. I know with all of my boy pictures, there'll be pictures I can put. I use orange a lot with them. So there'll be pictures that I can put on there with this. And I'm not one of those that my pictures have to have the colors of my paper. Sometimes I do, but it I, it's not one of those things where it always has to be that way. Okay, let's let's glue this down. Um, trying to think if I really want to glue up there. I think not. I think I'm gonna keep it down here and uh, give myself some tuck room. Just depends so that I have options on where to put my pictures and my embellishments in case I want to tuck something in. Okay. Okay, there's that. Let's snip this off. good with that. And then we've got to decide if we're going to do this or not. I do kind of like that. I kind of got glue on that. Let's see if we can flip it over. Um, just because it kind of settles the page down a little. Like I could do a grid of pictures or I could do pictures here, title here, some embellishments there. I could even like journal along those lines like that. So I do think I want to do this. And backing my pictures, I might back them in white. I might just do them like in white to put on here. So, okay, I will go ahead and put this down. not going to do it all out in the center just in case because this is this tape is pretty permanent and you can get it up but it's hard sometimes it tears your paper let's turn this so i can get it And I know I have a couple of different shades of orange going on, but I don't really care. This is this is just going to be a fun layout, and I think it's okay. They're really not bad together. All right, so I think I'm going to leave that like that. And, uh, of course, I'll toss in all those other things I had. So let's figure out what we want to do on this one. I know I want to use, or I think I know, that I want to use this, maybe on the bottom of the page over here. Or I could even flip it. I could do it at the top, but I mean, I can flip it at any point. But I think that's what I want to do. So let's see what, um, let's measure this. Let it just go to the top of that and We'll just cut it that same that same 
size and put it across the other page and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do. Okay, where's my mark? I do that all, there it is, all the time. Okay, so here's our mark. So let's put this one over here. Get this down. Oh, we need to put our, our thingy on it. So let's turn it over and put that on there. I'm gonna get it with the right side the first time this time. So we want the orange showing, not the pink. So there we go. I need to go ahead and do the twist. So while I'm finishing up some of this, I'll do the twist. The twist tonight comes from, um, from Psalms 33, 8 and 9. And it says, Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, and it stood firm. Sometimes I think we forget just how big our God is. We Maybe we just don't understand it, or maybe we can't even comprehend it. Maybe it isn't that we forget it may just be that we literally cannot comprehend how big he is. His power and his authority are, there's no limit to it. And I think we just don't have the capacity maybe to realize that. That he just spoke and creation came into being. That is... That is far beyond what we can even imagine. And so sometimes I think we pray, I think I pray at least, with where we limit God, it's almost like, well, God, if you can, you know, I'm requesting this or that or do this or that. And that should not even be because, well, he can. <laughs> That's just all there is to it. He can. And so anything that we commit to him He's more than capable of doing. I have a sign that sits on the counter. Everybody comes in and out of my house through the actual back door. And um, I've got a mud room, and everybody comes in and out through that room. And on the counter there, um, I have a sign that says, Don't tell God what a big problem you have. Tell your problem what a big God you have. And that should, that should be our attitude. That should be our, um, the way that we pray and, and the way that we approach things. And so I, I need to be better at doing that. And so I've got to remember to just say, you know what? God's bigger than my problems. My problem needs to stand in awe of my God. I need to stand in awe of my God. Okay, we're going to get this down, and I'm thinking that that's going to be these two base pages. I'm just going to leave them like that, and, um, and go from there when I figure out what pictures are going to go on them. Okay, so there they are. Used three things out of the Pringles can, a bunch of scraps, and we've got our two base pages. Got those done. 
and I will toss all of the rest of this. And I may just go ahead and leave that white in there. Uh, all of the rest of this in with them, just in case I love this little star. That would really be busy, but I love that. So I'm gonna toss all of this in there with those and we'll see what we use when we get ready to make our base pages. I mean, make our actual layouts. All right, the next one is gonna be a bunch of browns. And I don't really know for sure what I'm gonna do here. I had, well, actually I had this page with it too, and that's really pretty. Um, but I don't know that I wanna cut into that full page because I the page I wanted to use for the actual foundation is this. I don't know, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's not, um, it looks kinda like a crackle. I don't know, maybe leathery, I don't know what it is, but I liked it. And it's kind of got some texture to it. And I had um, I had all of these that I liked with it. I, I use a lot of the brown and that kind of aqua or turquoise. And I do like that. And I've got a couple of those that have that in it. And I've got more of this. Actually, I have three that have that in it. That doesn't really... These browns are not, now that I get them under good light, they're not really. I have this other one that I really, really like. Let me, let me look at it just a minute. Oh, and then I'm going to show you these things. Um, I don't know if I can do this. I have all of these strips. And this is beautiful paper. I made like a hundred invitations and it's this pearlized uh, kind of platinum colored paper and it's beautiful. We made invitations for one of my friend's 50th wedding anniversaries. And so I just have all of these pieces of this and I thought, I don't know if I can move this, I had it. Um, I actually thought about kind of weaving that and doing sort of like a basket weave with this. But I don't know what pictures I wanna put on there. So anyway, that was, I'm gonna keep these out. That was just kind of a thought that flew through my head. And you know, you could do, they're like 11, so you could do a, the whole page and then use it for your background. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna keep those and think about that. And they look pretty with this, and I really liked this with this brown. It kind of takes that almost Western look, I guess, and puts put it with something that's kind of still could go Western. I do think this could be pretty Western. That's a good idea, and I gotta remember that. And then I'd have these if I wanted them to, you know, accent with, or anything, but I have no idea what pictures I'm gonna do with this. But, and this is short, so I'd have to cut that off. And I love this paper. I don't mind cutting it off and doing that, doing something like that. I get to where I feel like all these base pages start looking alike. I mean, I think they'll get different when when I get, um, you know, get pictures and embellishments, but I do get, I, I get in, because I like something that goes along edges and that kind of stuff. This really can actually stand alone. It doesn't have to have, you know, I may just put that on there. I may narrow it down just a little. I think I will just a tiny, tiny bit because I like this too. Let's see, that's six inches, just a half and a half. Let's do that. 
I don't normally do an absolute half, but let's do. Just put it right there. And then if we decide to, we could actually do a another one over there. That would be kind of pretty. And then put pictures down there. I don't know. I'll hang on to that with these and decide. But I'm going to put this on here. I think I want to ink this. Probably ink it all the way around with, um, we need a dark brown. Maybe let's use our ground espresso. Let's ink this up pretty good so that it blends into that brown. I just think this is so pretty. You could bring out the rust or the cream or the browns or the maroon. You could even do that kind of yellow gold. And then this is sort of that goldish color too in that crinkle. I'm getting so busy. It's just crazy. I go get my haircut tomorrow. I worked. It's late. It's, I don't even know what time it is, but it's like midnight-ish and, uh, or after. And I worked tonight getting my documents ready to send out to my, uh, my students. I know I tell you this every time, but I supervise uh, graduate students that are going into school counseling. I was a school counselor for years and years, taught for years and years, and then was a school counselor for years and years. And, uh, and then I taught during that time at Dallas Baptist University, I taught in the graduate school for school counselors. And so since I kind of retired from actual, actually going to the campus and teaching, because it's, it's a long drive for me. It's like a little over, it's over an hour drive. And I got, to where I really didn't like to drive it at night and graduate students need night classes. So anyway, I kind of, when we started doing field supervision, that when the, when TEA said we had to have this field supervision piece of their, uh, their certification, I started doing that and I really like doing that. I observe them three times well, now it's six times, actually, during this semester because we've added some informal uh, observations. But um, I, uh, I really like doing that and keeps me busy, busy, busy. But it um, also kind of keeps me in touch and gives me a little mad money. And right now, I need that. So let's get this on here and then I really think this one wasn't very exciting. There wasn't much creativity to this one, but I don't know that I want to do anything else to it until I know for sure what I want to do picture-wise on this one. I could split that if I decided to do something like that. I could split it and then have a picture there. Because I really do like this with this. All right, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave all of these, not that I could ever use them all, um, with that, which means I really don't need any of those other papers. If I bring in something, it'll it'll be a solid of one of these colors more than likely to uh, matte photos, maybe make some layers or something. So I'm just gonna leave that like that. I, that was not very exciting, but that, that's how that one's gonna be. This next one, I think I'm, this is almost like cheating because <laughs> I found this 
that I had started on before. And look what I, here I've got this backed. I did a layout with all of this same paper, or nearly all of it, not this and not this, but uh, nearly all of it for a birthday that one of my boys had that was a car's birthday. And so this was already cut, and I don't know what I was thinking I was going to do with it because I don't need another one of that. But what I decided to do, I know I have pictures from our vacation this summer of them riding go-karts. And I thought, oh, this checkered, like the checkered flag and all that kind of stuff would be so cute with those go-kart pictures. So I don't know if that's cheating or not, since I know I want to use those particular pictures on it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and make this. If it's cheating, I'm sorry, but that's, that's what I'm going to do. So let's get this down. This one, I had already kind of had going. That, and I've got one base page, one, count them, one base page that I had made a long time ago and never used. I'll show it to you at some point. I won't put it in with this. Uh, base page thing that we're doing in November because I did already have it made and so I don't have it included in a video. Now what I was kind of I want to use this paper with this. I just don't know for sure how. Of course I'll have to cut that off. And I've got another. I had these were in there and they're just exactly the right size for me to math that, so I, evidently that's what I was thinking. So I guess I'll just go ahead and do that. Just go ahead and mat that. I don't have a big enough piece of this red to mat the other, this big piece. Well, that's about as straight as it can be, isn't it? Oh, well. Yeah. I think I told you before, if you'll peel the back away and not the, peel the back away from the top and not the top away from the back, then your front, this doesn't curl up near as bad. Okay, let's try this one more time. See if we can get it a little closer. Maybe that's a little closer, I think. Well, I'm thinking it's just not straight because, well, we're going to leave it like that. And then if I did that, I could put that down here. I could put, or I could do that and then overlap them if I needed to. So if I cut that off, let's do that. Let's see, what size is this? This is six inches. So I could actually, you know, trim down like, and it's, um, let's see how big it is this way. I'm really thinking more like a grid of pictures. It's um, like seven and a half that direction. So I'm thinking more maybe a grid of pictures or something. But I think I've got all of these strips. So I, and I found that ticket in with all this too. So I don't know what, I don't know. But we did have to buy tickets to ride go-karts. But I was thinking I could, just outline this like with these strips that I had and then put it on there. So let's do that. And I don't want it big. I want it more like the, the 
have one that's on that other one. Maybe not quite as narrow as it, because it's really narrow. And then just another one. I think I'll do the top and bottom and then do the sides. Which did I put? Sure, I'm getting my hair over in the picture, getting this lined up. Sorry about that. I do get a haircut tomorrow. Pretty excited about that. And then next month I get highlights. Okay, now let's do the side ones. And we'll have that done. Which side? Yeah, this one. But that'll help these black and white pieces stand apart from each other. I think I'm going to like that. doesn't match. It's not the exact same red. This one is. Let's see if I have any more. Nope, those are all those little pieces. Make sure there's not another strip. Now, yeah, this one will be fine. And if this is cheating because I have a good, I haven't printed them. I don't know how many there are. I don't, uh, I don't know anything other than I just know I've got pictures from our vacation where they were riding go karts. But so I'm thinking we can do, you know, something like that. And then if I need more picture space, I can do that. And I still have all that coming out. I've got these reds and yellows. I've got this yellow. I don't know that I would use that, but I've got that yellow. I've got some just strips of yellow. I've actually got some white strips. And then I've got a little bit wider. Um, I've got the reds and yellows a little bit more. There's a black, but I've got this little bit wider red that matches those and I've got some wider yellows that I could use for title. I've got this little ticket I'm going to leave in there. I'll go ahead and leave those little short things in there for now. And then there's actually another big piece of red. I guess I could if I wanted to, you know, do a a center on that like that and then put that over it. could do something like that to bring in, to brighten it up, bring in the red. I do kind of like that. Yeah, I do kind of like that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to just put all of this in there with it. And when we get pictures, we'll figure that out. So we actually did get a two page and two more one page. And here I am at like I think 39 minutes. So yay, yay, yay. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving me a thumbs up and just have a blessed day and be a blessing to someone else. Oh, I need to tell you what all this is. I forgot. This is for the November hop.
that uh, over on Ginger's Corner, and it's 20 base pages in 20 days. And so I'm preparing my base pages, and starting the first day of November, we're going to make layouts out of these base pages. And so there will be a link so that you can watch everybody's um, when we get to the first of November. There will be a link with everybody that's participating in this hop, and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. There are already some really neat-looking base pages that different ones have been making. So thanks again for dropping by, and have a blessed day, and be a blessing to someone else.